I like I like OF a lot, but um, I am stepping back. For me, it was like OnlyFans. I was like, oh, I'll do this on the side. Like, it'll just be extra money. A lot of girls in Scottsdale do it. Like, mm -hmm. it's kind of the norm out here in the West. First thing you said was, I make money. This is about money. It's about money. But when it comes down to marrying these women, men, men just don't oh, want it. With someone who's already doing this and you're going to look to marry them, it, it could be an issue because if that, especially if they're con wanting to continue to do that, I don't know that that is ready for wifey material yet. OF models are being propped up to young women as glamorous influencers worthy of emulating. But what happens when these girls realize that the industry sold them a bunch of crap? The industry sold this to them as some sort of feminist mecca that's actually making girls wildly unhappy and destroying their self-worth. Luckily, there are a few women who are speaking out about the problems that come with being an OF model. Basically, they're saying they regret their decision. So let's talk about it. As a heads up, there's going to be a lot of euphemisms that are going to be used throughout this video because, well, the algorithm dings us. So instead of talking about P-O-R-N, we'll refer to that as corn. And then we'll talk about OF to refer to that corn website. And spicy is a euphemism for, well, I hope you know what that's a euphemism for. Okay, let's watch this first video of an OnlyFans model that says she regrets everything. So it's been a year since I started my OF and my spicy pages. And I just feel super anxious today. And I wanted to just come on here and share some thoughts um, on my experience so far. I'm kind of scared to share my actual thoughts, um, but I just feel the need to say them um, in case anybody who's following me here um, has any sort of desire to start this kind of thing. She says she's anxious after being on OF for a year. Of course she is. It's incredibly degrading to do that kind of work if you can call it that you're doing that work day in and day out and when you start to realize that being an of girl is what your life has evolved into well, one day i feel like you're just gonna wake up and realize that was a terrible idea i want to start off by saying that i definitely have a really complicated relationship with with this whole thing and there are things that i appreciate about it and have appreciated about it from the beginning but if I'm being so honest, there are so many, there there really are so many downsides. Mm, yes, duh. There are so many downsides to this. And I think young women get into this industry because they're driven by consumerisms. They want to have nice clothes. They want to have the purses. They want to have a nice apartment, right? OF is such an easy way to gain money, gain a following, but nearly everything that provides any form of instant gratification, you guys, it's never actually worth it. OF included. I'm trying so hard not to get like super upset while sharing this, but if I'm being honest, my mental health since I've started this <sighs> has just slowly like been on such a decline. And I would say that it started maybe like honestly, probably seven months ago. So quickly into her OF career, she figured out that this was not for her because obviously the mental deterioration of selling your body for money is something that I just don't think human minds have the full capability to comprehend. We were not made to do this. We were not made to sell our bodies on the internet. Where about like maybe six months into doing this, yeah, about six months, I started to get super burnt out. And I think a lot of the people who follow me now on this page are like kind of, you've probably come from like much older videos, um, you know, with the spicy page or OF like sort of being the topic. And while I did have such a strong start and it was so much fun in the beginning, um, after getting burnt out, I started to just feel really differently about like the types of messages that I was getting. There it is. And um, just, yeah, I mean, quite frankly, just. Oh, yep. Okay, there it is. I just want to reiterate, human beings were not meant to sell their bodies on the internet. And when we do things, this is not exclusive to OF. But when we do things that we weren't created to do, it always leads to heartbreak and mental anguish. It is the natural end state of doing something that wasn't intended for human beings and i'm not shocked but i am shocked that she had the courage to speak out about the topic within just one year of getting into it 
Usually people just get so greedy. They'd rather see the money come in than hold on to their dignity. So good for her, I guess. And better she realized that one year as opposed to like five years into this. Just feeling like sort of the effort that I was putting in um, to it still wasn't, I guess I'm trying to say there's no amount of money really that you can give me at this point and I'm like willing to admit this now there's no amount of mm-hmm. money that you can give me right now to like make me feel that's all like it is. giving myself away in certain aspects even if they're just a few photos or whatever online it almost isn't worth it anymore it's hard to describe this because I realize that when I have spoken about OF that you know it's it's typically been in a light where it's like you know it's it's fun it's art you make money blah 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 but if i'm being so honest that really is like the only upside to doing it it's so sad i feel like women don't fully grasp what the industry is until they get out of it this industry is about exploiting women to get rich quick and these girls who are so quick to hop on the of bandwagon they pretend like they're feminists but then All they do is eventually end up like this woman and get like semi red pilled into realizing that feminism only benefits men and not the women partaking in it. The empowerment, if you could call it that, behind OF is empowering for a few months, maybe, until young girls like this realize that selling your body for men's enjoyment is not actually bringing them any joy Duh. and this former OF model, she's not the only one saying this. In fact, this other girl says that way more explicit than this one does. She's a former gym influencer who was also an OF model and then went on to regret her decision. And while I'm pulling that video up, would you real quick just click the like and subscribe buttons and drop a comment about what you think about OF models quitting the industry? I really appreciate it. This is for girls who are considering starting OF. Um, I've been doing it for the last two years and I just think social media glamorizes it so much and nobody talks about the reality of what it actually is and somebody needs to. That's definitely an aspect we haven't talked about yet that the internet loves to glamorize the OF lifestyle, right? There are influencers on TikTok. I'm thinking about this one girl named Tara and she sits around, she's got millions of followers and then she'll do like a get ready with me video, get ready with me to film a day of OF content with other girls and then she gets brand deals and she makes tons of money and young girls are watching this and they're like, well, that seems awesome to be an OF model. You get money, you get brand deals, you get a ton of followers, but they don't see the hurt behind the industry you might even have friends that are encouraging you to do it right now but later on down the road when they get in a serious relationship or married or start having kids they aren't going to want a girl who does porn around their family she said it and there are far and few between that are okay with it i'm not excluding everyone but our generation likes to act like we've accepted everything and we haven't and i'm not pushing for exception um she said it she said the quiet part out loud doing corn it's like getting a tattoo you might love it and think nothing of it when you're 22 but one day you're gonna wake up with an ugly tattoo or an ugly history of online corn and you're gonna wonder why did i do this to myself i know it's expensive to live in this world i feel you ladies but that doesn't mean you result to doing something that will impact your life forever i just want to make you guys aware of how lonely of a job this truly is because you will lose friends and family so much so that of agencies um create these group content get togethers which yes you're making content but it is also um said up front even that they're encouraging you to make girlfriends amongst each other because you are going to have a very hard time making girlfriends yeah, outside of that because you are who you hang around with if you hang around with corn stars you're going to act more like a corn star and, and i think that's why there are people who avoid girls I, I would say myself included i'm not going around girls who do of i, I avoid them like the plague stay away from me Because you know what? I want a family, I want a husband, and I don't want to be associated with these girls who don't want that. And their mentality is just to sleep around with people. That inevitably seeps into your life because you are who you hang around with. And I can't be the only girl that's thinking that. And as far as, you know, guy friend groups and stuff, you're not going to be called by your name anymore. Like, you're the girl who does OF. And 
that might sound really cool at first like she's bad but a year or two and that wears off pretty quick and as far as your you know self-respect having a price it does pay good preach but sister preach a few more years and you're gonna want your self-respect back and, and it you is can't just get it back. a shortcut that takes more than it gives mm-hmm that's the other thing that attracts young women to OF is like the male attention they get. But it's not reality. It's the result of a very narrow minded thinking that young people in their early 20s go through. You'll see young women. It's very common in their their skimpy little outfits trying to garner attention of guys when in actuality, the guy you want to marry is going to fall in love with you in your mid 20s when you are in a turtleneck because you know what you're someone worth respecting and it doesn't matter whether you're in a skimpy top or a turtleneck he's going to like you for you and like this former of model said being the hot whore of the group it wears off when other girls start getting married for not selling their body and you're left alone because Almost no one wants to bring a corn star girlfriend home to mom and dad for the holidays. It's not mean. It's just reality. There are a few comments about this topic that I want to look at. This one reads, long story short, once you sell yourself, the money is good, but you can never buy back your self-respect. Absolutely. And nothing is worth your self-respect. Not designer bags you're going to get rid of one day. Not your followers. That doesn't actually matter. None of that is worth your self-respect or worse. This girl was talking about losing family and friends. That is awful. You wouldn't wish that on your worst enemy. At least I wouldn't. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> There's another comment that I found interesting though, because I was saying earlier that I think it's good that these young women are speaking up, but this person doesn't agree. It says, it pisses me off to hear this regretful corn and OF people speaking the truth or what they don't want you to know. For decades, we've been talking about the issues about selling your body and soul. How's this a new thing? I do understand the point of frustration. Of course, corn isn't a new thing. Selling your body and soul, not a new thing. OF, though, is a relatively new thing. And when you think you're doing something in the privacy of your room as opposed to, say, a skip club, I'll use that euphemism, it's created a barrier, at least a mental barrier. And people thought, oh, I could have the best of both worlds. Listen, I'm not agreeing. I'm just explaining the logic. And now there's a generation of women who have succumbed to this whole instant gratification over self-worth. And it's been glamorized online. And I think it is really important that young women who are in the industry speak out and showcase how this is not a glamorous industry at all. It's an industry that corrupts young women and leaves them with mental and emotional damage well beyond repair and and i honestly believe that and i think it's good that of girls are the ones speaking out and stating clearly that they regret their decisions it only goes so far when i say it i've never been on of but people that are in the industry that can speak out as almost whistleblowers it's just somehow more powerful but you let me know your thoughts in the comments below